Now, let me ask you this. In, in, in your book, you write, you say that one will succeed in a PR campaign only if the perception fostered truly resonates with the public. What does it mean for the uh, perception to truly resonate with the public in your mind? Like, what's an example of, let's say that I, uh, um, like, example, with uh, uh, Charlton Heston, in one of your books, you talked about this, of how he had a certain perception, and then you helped him get on Saturday Night Live, and that perception was was changed. Contemporized, that's all. Can you explain to me why you decided to uh, put Charlton Heston on Saturday Night Live, or why you pr approached him with the idea, or kind of how that... Because Charlton Heston once asked me before he hired me what I could do uh, to help him, to make him more famous. And I said, Mr. Heston, there's nothing I can do to make you more famous. You're already one of the most famous people in the world. I can't make you more famous but I can make you more contemporary. Mm. Did you ever watch the, uh, the movie Ten Commandments? I did. To kind of cheer him on? I thought that what it needed, I thought what his iconic brand needed was to be more contemporary. Now, let me ask you this. In your book, you, thought you say um, often the terms public relations and publicity are, are used interchangeably, mm -hmm. and they shouldn't. And I know you talk a lot about how Donald Trump and, and you know, his uh, desire for publicity versus public relations. Can you explain to me what the difference in, in kind of layman's you know, terms Clay, of public relations? You, I'm and, pretty good at a bunch of things in the world, but I'm not great with dictionary definitions. Okay. It just seems to me that publicity is a piece of the public relations puzzle. You know, getting, is all publicity good? No, no, I promise you, my good friend, if you join ISIS tomorrow, that's not gonna be good for your company. That's not a good deal. What? <laughs> so, anyway. So uh, let me ask you this. Why do business owners, though, need to know about the, like, why does a business owner, because a lot of business owners, okay, who, um, they'll hire my firm to help them grow their business, and we've helped companies, you know, dentists and doctors and attorneys uh, grow, and it's interesting how a lot of times people will say, you know, I don't need to worry about branding or PR or anything. I, I, don't, I don't need to. I'm just going to, you know, clean teeth and I'll be good. And then their business doesn't grow, and you explain to them you need to over deliver and exceed their expe customer, customers' expectations. You as need well to as form a relationship with the left and right brain part of the brain of your cl clients. Okay. Logical so, and emotional. Anybody that says they don't need branding, so it just it's not. It's someone who just doesn't get it. I don't know what else to say. I'm sure I could find something more acerbic to say, but they just don't get it. I appreciate you using the word acerbic. You are a plethora of vocabulary vernacular. Thank you, sir. Hey, appreciate you being here today, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you.